Welcome back. This is Lights Out Streaming brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. We've got a great match here for you. Winner's bracket action. Sunshine State Predator Pro-Am Pool Tour Day number two. Final 12 players lined up. This is a race to seven on both sides today. We have a great match here. Donnie Mills versus Jerry Arvales. This would help if I get the video started. My bad. Anyhow, we got a very nice matchup here for you guys this morning or afternoon, better yet. Donnie Mills versus Jerry Arvales. Donnie's a 746 Fargo and Jerry's a 685 Fargo. This is race seven. Racking the nine ball on the spot. Nine counts on the break. Only in the top four pockets. Not the foot of the table. No, not me. I don't know if it's your opponent. You know the rules. Must have the two touching the nine ball in the back. Not the very foot of the rack. Anywho, we got a good matchup for us. Want to send a special shout out to our sponsors, our title sponsor being Predator Cues, Predator Group, Predator Products. This guy's been on board with us for a uh, three going on four years now certainly appreciate all that they do for the pool community in florida and now uh abroad we got this nice uh predator pro series tournament going on to help uh reunite pool players back to the pro level which is what we certainly need uh, also we have kamui products as you can see the <coughs> kamui logo there on the left it just went by Anything you need Kamui related, hit me up. If I don't have it in stock, I can certainly get it for you. Donnie Mills takes the first break and looks like it uh, comes up dry. And certainly uh, we have Diamond Billiards products. Uh, we're using the, uh, the beautiful uh, Black Resin Triangles by Diamond Billiards. Uh, really good racks. We have them. Uh, Jose uh, Del Rio, I guess he likes them too, and uh, we've got a few other pool rooms involved, and uh, they've ordered them as well. They clean up nice. They don't leave chips all over the table, and uh, they stay pretty firm. Been using them for about four years now, and uh, those things work pretty good. Haven't haven't had any, any complaints out of them yet. Nice shot on the one ball by Jerry. Swinging his rock around, and uh, he gets some kind of shot here on the 2-7 combo. Also, we got uh, AZ Billiards. Uh, they're the ones that take care of all of our uh, our tournament results and post them online for us at azbilliards.com. So anything uh, you need pool related, you can go there. All around the world, they've got all the top stories that, uh, that you want to know about. Nice combo by Jerry. Holds position for the two ball. Also, we got the USA, USA Pool League. USA Pool League, uh, a lot of the league players, they, uh, they help invest in the... Uh, the predator raffles that we have that way uh, we can add add more money to our tournament stops each and every stop we uh, we put a certain percentage of the Q uh, raffle right into the uh, the players prize fund this uh, event actually was uh, after everything was said and done 2300 added thanks to uh, predator for the, for all of that also we have uh, <clears throat> Jacksonville roofing USA my brother is sponsoring my stream, which is called Lights Out Streaming now. So uh, if you guys any uh, need any kind of roofing needs in the Jacksonville, St. Augustine area, we go uh, quite wide, uh, Fernandina area, all of uh, pretty much North Florida right there at the corner of the state of Florida. If you guys need any kind of roofing needs at whatsoever, give me a shout. Uh, either me or my brother, Jimmy Garza. We're both pretty good pool players, not by uh, display of the last match, but anywho, there you have it. So then we also have uh, Jamison Daniels, another uh, pretty good pool player, I might add. And uh, I tell you what, I can't say enough about Jamison Daniels. He is helping all of pool in all of Florida, not just our tour, but uh, also the other ones that are uh, just fixing to get started and the ones that have been, uh, been going for a while. He's... Uh, putting his uh, sportsmanship in in every single event and uh, we greatly appreciate it so if you guys happen to see him out and about 
He's usually somewhere almost every weekend in the pool room. So you guys see him, please uh, shake his hand and say, hey, thanks. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support that Jamison Daniel puts in towards the pool community, all the different pool events that he's involved with. And uh, certainly, uh, last but not, not, not least, we have Eastern Billiards right out of Kissimmee, Florida. Those guys, they take care of you if you need anything billiard related. They're really into the uh, the Andy the Andy pool cloth for for your pool table. Uh, if you need anything any cloth, uh, you can ho holler at those guys over at Eastern Billiards. Uh, Gary and Ruth will be happy to take care of you. Uh, anything how how related? They got all the different how products. They got really great tips. You guys need anything like that, and give them a shout. They will hook you guys up right away, and certainly appreciate those guys. And definitely, those guys are in the pool room all the time too, not only for our tour, but for for many other ones out there. Jerry and Ruth, uh, they really put their whole heart into the pool community. All the different tours out there, all the different tournaments that's going on. They usually have some kind of piece of it. They sponsor a lot of good players here. We had Stephanie Mitchell here in the tournament. Uh, she did not make it to day number two, but she uh, she certainly played pretty well. Looks like I'm getting called for a hit watch, so I'll be right back, guys. All right, I am back. Okay, let's see what I missed here. Uh, Jerry Arvely's got got the first game. I think I covered all the sponsors. Uh, if I missed one, I apologize, but I think I got them all. And it uh, looks like we got a safety battle going on here on the uh, two ball. And Jerry hits that one quite well, leaving uh, Donnie Mills a one rail kick in between the seven and the nine ball. That's the only only possible way I see of hitting the two ball and he's probably going to have to stun it to straighten it up just a little bit so he doesn't hit the seven ball so he's probably going to shoot it wide he's looking at a two rail kick I don't really see the two rail but maybe he sees it a little different than I do Top eight players left. We have two juniors. A 15 and a 16. Who's 16? Trenton. I thought he was 17. Oh, is he 17? I think he's 17 now. Close enough. 16, 17. What's the difference? <laughs> Kid's shooting great. He's uh, missing a lot of balls in the beginning. I couldn't capitalize on him. Especially when, you, uh, especially when you miss ball in hand. Something's wrong with that pitcher. All right. Donnie makes a great uh, two-row kick on the two-ball. Not quite for sure that's how he was planning on that, but it worked out pretty good for him. Jerry Arvillis comes up to the table with a nice shot on the two. He's got to try to work some magic here to get something on the three. Looks like the uh, majority of the pockets are blocked on the three-ball. Looks like it only goes in the corner or the side where he's standing at. Looking at the uh, cross side from there. It goes in the corner over there where the cue ball is. So you got to work some magic here.
Overcuts the ball, and let's see where it's going to wind up. Right on top of the nine. I'm sure Jerry will be happy just to have the shot. Still got some uh, some work cut out here for him. Uh, getting position on the four ball is not going to be easy, so I expect him to cut the three in the side and come straight up and down table. Anywhere around where the spot is on the table is a good shot for the four. So let's see what he's got in store here. Straight top English. Can't really do a whole lot with this. Okay, so the nine ball's not quite in the way. So we'll just stun this ball to the end rail and back to the middle, just like so. If I could play half as good as I commentate, I would be all right in this game. All right. Let me know, people. Can you guys uh, see the stream all right? Do I need to get it restarted? Something going on here? Testing. One, two, three. The music probably uh, probably kicked me off. All right. Well, I can't tell, so I'm going to stop the stream and restart it. All right, there we go. We're back. Hope you guys can uh, see it now. We are back. Apologize for that. I believe the music's probably got me once again, as usual. All right, I'm about to figure out something on this music issue here. So uh, hopefully by next tournament, we'll have it figured out. All right, we're back at it. And uh, Jerry Arvales is just getting the best of Donnie at the moment. Getting the uh, good safety shots and being able to capitalize on uh, small errors by Donnie. I mean, he's making good good hits on his safety attempts, but unfortunately, he's leaving Jerry a shot, and Jerry's running out, taking advantage of it. So Jerry leads this match 2-0 to zero against Donnie Mills, and Donnie's got the break. This is alternate break. We're racking the nine ball on the spot. Two must be touching the nine in the backside of it. Nine only counts in the top four where you're not breaking from. Uh, three foul rule is in effect. Jump cues are allowed. Um, the only other different rule that we have is next ball in rotation. So if you're shooting the one and you accidentally touch the two in any way, it is a foul. Race to seven. This is winner's bracket action. Donnie Mills versus Jerry Arvales. And Donnie's got the break for rock number three. All right, guys, do me a favor and share the stream. This is a really great match. We should be pushing over two, 300 viewers on this one. Hook a brother up. This is Lights Out Streaming brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. Donnie Mills to break. The table's rocking kind of funny. If you notice those three balls sitting in the middle of the rock area right there after he breaks the balls, it's uh, it's really tough to get a good rock for some reason. And we got brand new felt here, so I'm not quite, quite understanding why the balls aren't rocking quite as tight. And these are the brand new Predator balls, so it's not like they're, they're not mixed with any other balls very nice safety shot there by Donnie Mills freezes Jerry right up looks like right up to the back of the four ball none of these balls that I have have been mixed with other balls so they're all from the original rack that they came with so it's uh, highly unusual for the balls not to rock good on new felt
Yeah, well, you don't necessarily have to hear the music. Uh, the Internet hears the music, and uh, that's all it takes. They can get it even off of a slight beat. If they can understand the beat. They know what the music is, and boom, I get kicked off of Facebook. Right now, the music's not playing, so naturally you can't hear it. All right, looks like Jerry's going to try to go two rails here in between the four and the seven. And this is going to create some kind of mass A. How do you hit it, folks? What a shot that was. That's a, that's a replay-worthy kind of shot right there. What a nice shot that was. How do you like that? Wow. And that's why these guys are still in the winner's bracket. That's some great shooting right there by Jerry Arvelez. Fortunately, he does leave Donnie Mills a shot, and he takes it down and gets great position on a two ball. So let's see. Uh, he should take control of this rack now. Don't want to be on top of that six. Ooh, very close. All right. It's got a natural two rail position on the on the four ball. They're calling me to watch a hit call again. I'll be right back. Here we go. Uh, obviously, uh, Donnie missed the four ball, so uh, that's not normal for him. Had control of the rack and uh, turned it back over to Jerry. And this is looking uh, looking pretty good out here for Jerry. Shouldn't have no issue getting out from here. All right, so he played it that way to play the eight in the side. I'm assuming that's why he played it like that. Don't know if I would have left that much angle on the seven ball, but either way. Yeah, Johnny, you can go to uh, digitalpool.com and just put in our tournament name. Sunshine State Predator Pro-Am Pool Tour. Digital Pool, and it should come right up for you guys. Yeah, that's possible, Gerald. I know when I was racking on the balls, I couldn't get the nine to sit, sit uh, in the center of the spot. It kept wanting to go high on me. So, anyhow, bees like that sometimes. Wow, what a shot by Jerry. He was all in on that. You have to be all in on this one, too. This would be a good shot if he pulls this one off. Long shot on the nine. Take a three-game lead against Donnie Mills. Is that right, Muhammad?
Wow. Unbelievable. Did that really just happen? Yes. Look at that. That was crazy. So what happened when you let the cue ball go though? It wasn't an easy shot. Very nice break by Jerry Arvillays. Makes the three ball on the break. Has a very nice layup here for the uh, the one. Now oh, he makes the four ball on the break as well. So we got the one, two, and then the five. More than likely we're looking at a one and then a two nine combination. Lining up a billiard on the nine ball. That's not a bad shot. Close, nine ball's close enough to the pocket, so I don't really see him having an issue making this ball. Just rolling it. Don't hit it too hard, so make sure you don't follow it in. Well, that was definitely different on the way he hits that ball I expected him to roll this ball I think he was too busy trying to play safe on the two as well and I think that's the reason why he missed the nine ball all right look like uh, Raymond Lenars is struggling over there on the next table over he's playing the uh, the kid that put me in the, the losers bracket last night he's uh taking a break go back to the feature table he's playing that kid Connor had a chance to beat him last night to go home I get heel heel and dog to five Connor's playing some good pool 15 year old junior right now him and Raymond and ours is uh, two to two all right looks like uh, Donnie's doing some second guessing, kind of like what I was doing when I played my match. So the shot is easy. It's, it's getting position on the six balls. The it's the issue here. I think he's worried about running into the nine and leaving himself a, a stupid long shot. I'm pretty sure he wants to try to play the six in the same pocket, but he's got to be able to make this ball without running into the six. So let's see what he's got in store. All right. Well. The ball's a little straighter than it looked from my angle. If that was all he had to do, I don't know what took him so long. And obviously, looks like the uh, looks like the seven ball goes past. Well, you get a good shot from there. Nice touch there. Seven goes past the eight. Draw this ball back, shoot to eight in the same pocket. All right, spinning ski ball three rails. Well, two rails, I'm sorry, at least two. Well, that's not quite how I was thinking, but that works. This is to tie this ball game up. And really make Jerry Arvillays pay for his mistake that he made trying to go for the billiard and play safe at the same time on the nine ball. 
And just like that, Donnie Mills ties the ball game up two to two. Thank you very much there, LJ. Doing the best I can do. And you're so right there, Brian. Pool can certainly be brutal sometimes. <laughs> Donnie keeps forgetting to put the two ball, touching the nine ball. Jerry just reminded him once again. Let him mark the whole rack and then decide to tell him. <laughs> so you got to do it all over again. All right, he likes it. Here we go. That's out streaming. Brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. This is Bobby GZ and Heezy coming to you straight out of Stroker's Billiards in Palm Harbor, Florida. Beautiful Stroker's Billiards. Tell you what, you guys haven't been here, you're missing out. If you have anything to do with pool, you must stop by Stroker's Billiards in Palm Harbor. Uh, and let's talk about some food. Oh my goodness. This place has some of the most delicious food you'll ever eat inside of a pool room. Freddy's Shrimp. Freddy's Way. is off the chain. You guys got to come in and check it out. Steak bites. Chicken bites. Garlic bread. Oh my goodness. And speaking of oh my goodness. Did this really just happen with Donnie Mills? He really just missed this one ball? Wow. How does that happen? I mean, he missed it by a couple inches at that. Here we are. We have the lovely Janine Phillips, tournament director, best girl in the biz. Come and join me for a little bit. You're trying to butter me up. <laughs> Don't I always. Don't worry, honey. I'll still buy you lunch. I know you will. Thank you, darling. What a kick that was by Jerry Arbelez. Gets a nice roll out of it. I call it roll, but I'm pretty sure he played that ball behind the five, just getting the one ball up table mainly. Nicely done. So what do you got to say on this fine Sunday afternoon, darling? I'm ready for some R&R. &R. Most definitely. Having five weeks of back-to-back -back USAPL playoffs? Yeah. I'm ready for a cruise. That is for sure. I can't say we're overdue for the cruise since I just got back from one, but definitely need another one for sure. Aerial attack here, Donnie Mills, going airborne. Maybe we should get uh, Royal Caribbean to help sponsor. No doubt about that. I need more cruises in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, on the table five over there, the young junior Connor against Raymond Lenares is tied 2-2. And then Robert 
for Batson is struggling against Richard Shaw. Really? Oh, that's my horse still in the still in the run. Yeah, well, okay. He's not gonna be in for long. Oh wow, he's down five to zero. My horse is about uh, getting trampled on over there. All right, Jerry Elverlees is looking at this 1-8 uh, combo. He's trying to make sure if he can make it, he's going to have some kind of shot here on the 1. Look like he's going to do a billiard. Nice on safety all the way, it looks like. Very nice. Yep. It's a... Uh, Fairly routine one rail kick for Donnie Mills. He's not going to have a problem hitting this ball. Uh, he's probably going to try to kick it to the side rail and have it die on the end rail. If he has it his way about it. Leave the cue ball right there. Oh, he hit it pretty hard. How unfortunate was that? <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Even though the viewers can't see, but we have um, Sophia Mast in the building. And she's over there practicing with up-and-coming little man, Rio. He, uh, Rio, plays in our league. Eight years old, is that right? He is eight years old. Wow. He is getting lessons from none other than Jerry Arvillais. Is that right? We have a possible uh, up-and-coming world champion. champion over there. Absolutely. <laughs> Guess you got to go to the junior process first, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll hold off on the world champion part for now. <laughs> Maybe we'll work on the junior champion first. Keep I wish. Away from the girls. Maybe, maybe yeah, for sure. He's definitely hot on the girls. <laughs> Even you, for that matter. <laughs> I'm about to put my foot down on that. <laughs> little eight-year-old coming to steal my action. <laughs> Show sure enough. All right. Nicely done, Jerry. Got a nice shot here on the three. I think he's probably going to try to make this without touching the uh, the eight ball. If he doesn't like it, he's certainly going to play the uh, the eight. He could uh, don't like the billiard here, so he's going to have to play a combo. I expect him to try to make this without touching the eight, and he does. Certainly didn't expect him to hit it that hard. He didn't want to hit the four. Well, I mean, that was a little wild. Actually, he just needed to get it past the nine ball and take the cut on the four, which led him perfect position for the five, but that didn't work that way. That's right, Muhammad. Rare aerial attack. That's how good position he normally plays. Wow. He tried to clip that eight ball. He was really close to doing it, too. Leaves Donnie Mills a uh, sharp cut on the four down the rail. The good thing about it is he got natural position. position. Straight top English. Goes side to side. At least two rails. Bounce back out to the middle. Shoot the five in the other side. Where he's standing. See how he hits it. There we go. Well, all the great matches that are going on, I really wish we had cameras on all the tables here. But you can tune in to Strokers. I do believe uh, they have, actually. Yeah, if you go to Strokers' uh, Facebook no page, but they have they've got uh, cameras on the uh, top six tables, I believe they got. Yeah. So you guys can go to their Facebook page, and I believe they're all live streaming. No sound or audio or anything like that. So, uh, but you can't get a visual. And it looks like uh, Raymond Lenars is trying to take charge over the uh, the youngster, 15-year-old Connor. Just took a commanding league now, four to uh, two. All right. Perfectly straight in here on the seven, so he's not going to do too much with his cue ball. I think Robert finally got on the board over there. Okay. Robert says he's not done yet. My horse is still kicking. Just the way I like it. Nice two-rail position on the nine ball by Donnie Mills, and uh, this will give him the, uh, the lead for the first time. There you have it. 3-2, Donnie Mills.
Welcome back. This is Lights Out Streaming brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. Right here coming to you straight out of Stroker's Billiards, Palm Harbor, Florida. Very beautiful pool room. You guys got to get over here and check it out. Jerry Arvillis to break and uh, makes a very nice one. Let's see what kind of shot he's got here on the uh, on the one ball. Look like he has a pretty decent cut shot. Um, it offers uh, natural position for the two. Just got to bear down and make the one. So he gets the one. He's got to go for this. Uh, key ball is frozen to the side rail there. So it's going to take a nice pure, pure stroke, confident stroke. Straight top English and don't try to do too much with it other than just make it. You're going to get it. You're going to get position. If he gets anywhere on the left side of the table, kind of like that. Unfortunately, the one ball does not go down and Donnie Mills is sitting nice and pretty on this one ball. They sure are. I did mention that yesterday. Yeah. And they've been doing it here, I think, since 2009. It's, yeah, it's been a long time. So we've got the music on again. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't uh, kick us off. I need you guys to do me a favor and share the stream. Let's get jiggy with it. Guys, hook a brother up. Let's get it out there. Yeah, I believe, uh, Christopher, if you go to the Strokers Facebook page, I think they told me that they had the other tables live streaming on their Facebook. She, uh, Jeannie's going to go and uh, confirm that. Look at that position. All right, so she says they're up and running, so check out Stroker's, Stroker's Billiards in Palm Harbor, Florida. They should have all six tables streaming. None of them have audio, only, only me. I'm the only one that has audio. All right, Donnie makes a nice one rail kick after hooking himself from the two ball. Almost follows the two ball in. I certainly did. I think if, if you did a poll in Florida, that this is probably the best food in a pool hall in the state. It's got to be. All right, Jay's looking uh, pretty good here. He'll hit this ball. Probably uh, look like he's drawing it. Okay. He hit it with a little bit of kill action. I thought he could just hit it with straight follow and just let the ball roll. Nicely done by Jerry. She's looking at getting perfectly straight in on the six ball for the side. Mm, that's not straight in. That's like first cousin. So it's looking pretty good from here. Just do a stun shot. Depending on the angle. Shoot the seven in the other side. It gets pretty good on it. There you go. We'll draw this ball back four or five inches. And there you have it, Jerry Arverley's fixing to tie this ball game up at three to three. I'll tell you what, he's been playing really strong. He sure has the last uh, couple months. The eight balls, the next ball in rotation, correct? Then yes, unfortunately that is a foul because you touched more than one ball. Well, I mean, because you, you, you touched a ball. Yeah. Took me a minute to think about that. No, no, no. All right. 
Don't worry, I was cheering you on. All right, Donnie Mills to break. Rack seven. Still in the cut break, and uh, seems to do that break pretty well. I, for whatever reason, I guess I'm gonna have to practice that that break a little more. I plan on giving you guys some uh, some better views from me this year. My goal is to uh, to win twice as much this year as I did last year and the years before. So we will see what happens. I am currently uh, trying to fine tune my game and hopefully get to play a little more this year. We'll see how that works out. So anywho, Donnie Mills playing the five all the way on this. I'm not really for sure uh, why because it's not really impossible to get a shot on a two, but highly unlikely. So now Donnie's uh, leaving himself with another aerial attack here on the two ball. He's fixing to go airborne. And uh, he's got the rail there, so that's going to give him a nice firm bridge. So he's got a great opportunity to make this ball. All I got to do is make it. He should get something on the six. All right. Comes up about four inches short. And uh, it's going to dress up. Looks like uh, dress up pretty good for uh, for Jerry. The eight ball is kind of in a way for him to make it in the corner. So Jerry's going to be looking at cutting this ball inside. Probably sending his cue ball a couple rails, if not three. Three to four rails. It looks like cut it in the side, go to the long rail, to the end rail, and then the other long rail and back across probably around where the nine ball is. So he could possibly go four rails or three. And he's looking at the cut shot. So be hitting this ball with center with a, probably a touch of left English. And just spin it. He just needs to make sure he misses the eight ball. I think you have to go around the table on this shot. I don't think you can try to uh, finesse this ball. Looks like it has way too much angle to try to finesse. But it's Jerry Arvales. He's got a good stroke. Not really for sure how... Uh, how his finesse game is, but fixing to find out what he's got in mind here. Well, they're playing the stream in here. I'm not sure if it's live on Facebook, but they have it in here for the viewers here to watch. All right, I will try to find out some info on that. I know the uh, the tech guy was in here this morning. He was going to try to put it on my site, and he hits this ball just like I anticipated. And when did I say about the nine ball? He hits the nine ball dead perfect. I figured if he could get the cue ball anywhere around where the nine ball is, he was going to have a shot on the six. It's highly unlucky to have that nine ball blocking him. It was a great shot. Very unfortunate with the roll there on the uh, the nine ball. Jerry's uh, Jerry's coming to the table with the short cue, so we're looking at an aerial attack again. And uh, I expect him to make this ball. He's not going to hit it too hard, so he should come up with position on the seven in the same pocket. He might have hit it a little harder than he wanted to, but he still has a shot. Just a very long one. All right, so there wasn't a whole lot of help there, so uh, Rolando's not here, so I can't can't help you guys out. I know they're live on the internet, just not for sure how to get to them. If they're not on Stroker's Facebook page, which I don't know why they wouldn't be, I'll check it out and see what I can do.
All right, we're trying to get your other live feeds lined up, but we'll get it together. Looks like uh, Jerry just took this game. All right, so he takes the lead once again. All right, so uh, the pool room owner is uh, not really for sure either. I believe Rolando is the one who uh, normally uh, normally gets the live stream going. I guess he has his system set up very similar to mine. So he has to go on there and uh, I guess turn them all on for the internet to see them. So I guess we won't be watching any of those after all. Apologize for that. Anywho, we got Jerry Arvillis. Got a pretty close to straight in on the far. So Jerry's gonna have to put a nice smooth stroke on this ball. Look like he's drawing it out, and uh, kind of one stroke that ball. That's that's a big error from Jerry Arvillis, and he can't afford to be doing that because uh, Donnie Mills is gonna make him pay. Donnie Mills see that that small little weakness in your game and he's gonna make you pay for it just like so Donnie's gonna looking at tying this ball game up once again we're looking for a, another hill hill thriller y'all just get your share on we're at 86 we should be at 286 come on guys let's get it out there Is this not Simonis, Muhammad? I thought it was Simonis. Nope, it's not. Nope, it's not. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you cannot get Simonis right now. Okay, did not know that this was not Simonis. I thought it felt a little different, so uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's Andy Cloth. <laughs> Donnie was seeing uh, one of the spectators' legs wobbling back and forth. Had to make sure uh, he got him to stop shaking him around so he could bear down and focus on this eight ball, which he did quite well. And uh, he's looking at tying this ball game up again, once again, with Jerry Arvillais. There you have it. Scores four to four. Donnie Mills has the break. Rack number nine. And we have a player timeout.
All right, welcome back. Lights Out Streaming, brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. Coming to you straight out of Stroker's Billiards in Palm Harbor, Florida. Donnie Mills just made a nice break here, and uh, one goes in, and uh, fortunately, uh, there's not much he can do with the two ball at this point. More than likely, be looking at doing a push out. Score is tied right now, going to seven. It's four, four to four. Uh-oh. Bar table action. Better watch out. Get your entries in as soon as you see it. 64. Correct. Pretty sure. 64. Limited field. 12 tables. We can do 64. Minimum 1,000 added. Yes. Minimum 1,000 added. That is uh, a minimum expect more than that but it's certainly a minimum all right here we go Donnie Mills push out leaves uh, Jerry a uh, thin hit on the two so I expect uh, Jerry to take a shot at this I don't expect him to give it back he'll be uh, looking at it just the way he's looking trying to get it to bounce anywhere on the other side of the three four and the nine and he would like to get the cue ball behind the six and eight. Anywhere in that vicinity, he should be okay. Got the two ball just good. And looks like it's going to land right in the gap. Let's see. Hard to tell if it's in the gap or not. That gives you a better look, so it's certainly in the gap. All right. Nicely done by Donnie Mills, and uh, Jerry's in trouble here. Well, we see a whole lot he can do here. Uh, Z Bank or something. He's going to jump over the edge of the seven, go one rail. Yep, so he's looking, uh, he's dividing the distance up. So it looks like he's going to need to hit right around in between the third and the second diamond. So he's not going to be jumping a whole lot of the seven ball. Oh, just misses it.
There we go. Donnie Mills takes the lead once again. Leads the match 5-4 to four against Jerry Arvillays. Jerry Arvillays has the break. Rack number 10. You guys hit me up for all your roofing needs for the Jacksonville, St. Augustine area. Either me or my brother, Jimmy Garza. Need anything anything done roof related, whether it be repair, new roof, re-roof, doesn't matter. Give us a shout. We'll give you a very honest estimate. The quality is like no other. And we both play pool. What do you know? All right, here we go. Jerry Arv released the break. Rack number 10. They both seem to be raking pretty good. It's just a matter of getting a shot after the break. Two ball goes down, and once again, no shot on the one ball. So Jerry, if I know Jerry, he jumps really good. He's got a great opportunity to kick to jump this ball in. It's close enough to the pocket. I kind of expect him to do it. Really don't see him pushing out anywhere. And sure enough, we're looking at aerial attack. Jerry's fixing to go airborne. He has a great shot at uh, making this ball. Cue ball's probably going to go up and down table and probably have some kind of shot on the three. He's going to need to hit this a little firm. If he makes the one, the cue ball's naturally should go straight up table. Try to get it to stop anywhere in the center. Would be perfect. All right, so he hits it uh, too fat, doesn't go in, and he's down a uh, very difficult cut shot here. Not really seeing uh, a reward for, for shooting this ball. Let's see if he wants to look at the nine ball, maybe play uh, a billiard. I believe he'll be playing safety all the way on this. Then the one ball to the right or to the left. Send the one to the right. Key ball to the left behind the behind the nine and the six possibly. All right. Well, he was certainly always playing the key ball there. Hits it quite nicely. And we have a full ball hook here for Jerry Arvillay. So Jerry's going to need to go at least one rail. I believe one rail. One rail is probably the way to go. You go two rows. You're looking at maybe uh, running into the nine. Don't think you can go two rows that way because the five ball is pretty big. I believe he'll be forced to go one rail. Kick it right about where the side pocket is on the right here. Just up above the five ball. And I think he'd like to hit this ball. Hmm, probably a little bit harder than a lag speed. That way we, if he hits the ball the way he wants. It should stop somewhere behind the six and the nine ball. And the cue ball should end up somewhere around where the seven and eight is depending on the angle that he comes into the one so here we go lining it up shouldn't hit this too hard and he does 
When you hit it that hard, you have no idea where that ball's going, so he was really relying on a bunch of luck on that shot, and he might have just come out with it, except I believe Donnie Mills is going to be taking a shot at this nine ball, then into one, going into the nine. Okay, also down on a few tables, we have Trenton and Han. Trenton is up five to three. All of our matches are a race of seven today. And we have Raymond up five to three as well. Six to three. All right. Just like I thought, Donnie takes a swing at the nine ball and uh, makes sure he uh, sends the one ball for cover. Nicely done. Jerry's got uh, There's no way he can jump this ball, I wouldn't think. So he's going to be forced to go two rails, the long rail, then the in rail, and straight at the, the one. Wow, well, it looks like he's going to try to go behind the, the seven. I don't think he can go behind the seven without clipping the three ball. I think he should go two rails. Actually, probably three rails. There's no way I would jump this ball. He's looking at the idea, but I don't see that happening. He's going to need to go three rails or one rail, whatever he chooses. Three rails coming in behind the one. Didn't realize the five ball was over there. The monitor kind of, monitor kind of got me blocked. And I'm looking at the table and not the monitor. So, um, so he's looking at uh, two rows that way. Maybe. I don't really. Uh, I think the five is too big there to go two rows that way. I think he's going to be forced to go three rows just before the five. Hit the long row, in row, back to the other long row, and then come at the one that way. He tried to go one rail at it, and he's not going to like this. One nine combo. And Donnie's going to marry the uh, the cue ball behind the three at the same time, just in case for whatever reason he doesn't make this this nine ball. Okay. I like this idea. Shoot the one, three, and then the four nine combo. That's even better. Don't know what I was thinking on that note, but here you go. One, three, and then a four nine combo. Get the cue ball anywhere where it is and right now. He's not going to have any problem with this four nine combo. Certainly didn't go in clean, but it got there. And this is to put some serious pressure on Jerry Arvales to get on the hill first. And there you go. Takes it down. All right, Donnie Mills taking charge, leading this match six to four against Jerry Arvales.
All right, here we go. Donnie Mills. Breaking rock number 11. Trying to close this match out. Not give Jerry Arvillies any more opportunities. And for once, Donnie makes a great break and has position on the one. That's usually how that goes when uh, the opponent's hoping to have a a dry break. Breaks it uh, really well. And has a super shot here on the one ball. Nice, nice just top spin English. Send it to the end rail and back to the middle of the table. You'd really love to get straight in on this two ball in the side pocket. You can bet he uh, he's ironing this he's ironing this up. He knows it takes one really good position shot here to clear this rock out. And he overruns it a little bit, but I'm pretty sure he's okay with this. You're gonna have to come to the top row. Back to the center of the table, and he'd love to get straight in on this three. That way, all he got to do is roll forward for the six in the other corner, past the nine. So it's going to be very vital to make sure you end up on the right side of this ball. And wants to get straight in on three in the side. It's not quite the side that I expected him to get on, but hey, it works. Overruns his position on it, and uh, he's uh, he's close to straight in. I don't think he's quite straight in on this three ball. So we'll see uh, what kind of magic he's got to work here on the cue ball. Look like he's shooting straight draw English, so let's see what he does. So he got room to just pull it straight back? He sure does. How do you like that? That was great position on a three ball. And like I always said, his right arm would have to fall off to not get out from here. Nice, uh, nicely done by Donnie Mills. Spin his cue ball probably three rows. Or straight top. Either way, it's personal preference. He goes three rows. The lane's dead perfect. I think it's going to come down. I think he's got just enough angle to slide this ball up. If he's got a little more than that, he'll probably go one rail, but I think he's just going to slide it straight up table. All right, he's, he must have been perfectly straight in, so he drew it back quite a bit. He was very scared of uh, overdoing that spin, and he hit it dead perfect. It was supposed to be no conceding the nine ball, but anywho, 7-4, Donnie Mills, y'all. Wins this shot at the... Uh, First hot seat match here. More than likely, it's looking like it's going to be Raymond Lenars versus Donnie Mills for the hot seat match. 